Welcome back everyone, Michael here with Offshore Citizen. I'm gonna answer something for Americans right now, which may help Americans who are abroad to gain a little bit bigger advantage than they would otherwise have in a normal circumstance. And so this is, I'm going to talk briefly about the foreign housing exclusion. And so if you're not American, it doesn't concern you, you don't have to, you can, you know, hit the like button and go on to the next video. But if you are American, this might be useful to you. So we're gonna dive in right now. Before you do, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the all notifications bell. If you'd like help with international tax optimization, forming companies, getting second citizenships, renouncing your citizenship, etc., please reach out to me. You can book a call, calendly.com forward slash Michael dash Brosmer. There's a link in the description below or send a message through our websites, offshorecitizen.net and offshorecapitalist.com. All right, so for those of you who aren't familiar, there's something called the foreign earned income exclusion. Uh, if you're a bona fide non-resident, or if you uh, have spent 330 days a year outside of the country, then you can qualify for this foreign earned income exclusion. There's a variety of different nuances associated with it. It's specifically for earned income, but it allows you to get it's approximately $110,000 a year. It started as 110 or 100,000. It's inflation adjusted, so this last year went up from like 108 to 112 or something next year. So anyway. Uh, this being said, that's uh, that's the deal, and so that's good for Americans who are, you know, especially if they aren't tax residents somewhere else. That's great. Uh, but in addition to this, something that people don't talk as much about is the housing uh, allowance. So how does this work? Uh, you, if you are living abroad and you have these housing expenses, you can potentially qualify for some additional uh, deductions. Now. It has to be that your housing expenses add up to more than a certain share. Uh, if I recall correctly, it is 16% of the foreign earned income exclusion. So that kind of tells you about that how much you get. And uh, it can up, be up to a maximum of 30% of the foreign earned income exclusion. So it's not a massive amount of money that you will get uh, as a benefit. And there's certain things that can be included, certain things that can't. For example, generally luxury goods can't, uh, rented furniture can, uh, if you have like maids or something, that can't. So there's, you know, depending on what your housing situation is, there are different ways that it gets categorized as, as to what is allowable as an expense and what is not allowable as an expense. But the bottom line is, you can potentially get about another $15,000 a year tax-free. So if you consider this, hypothetically, uh, you know, if you maxed out the foreign earned income exclusion plus you got the housing allowance, I mean, you're, you know, around $130,000 uh, tax-free. Again, depending on how much uh, you're spending on your housing and the things that qualify, um, some, somewhere in that range. And of course, then, you know, you could have a spouse who's also taking advantage of the foreign earned income exclusion, etc. So, I mean, collectively, as a couple, you can end up with a decent amount of money each year tax-free. Again, this doesn't necessarily mean you're not taxed in the other country, so there's that whole concern, but not a bad situation. So anyway, that's just a really quick uh, thing to be aware of is if your housing expenses exceed 16% of the uh, foreign earned income exclusion, uh, then you may be able to get, uh, and you qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion, you have to do that, that's part of it, uh, then you may be able to qualify for some additional exclusion on the basis of your housing costs. And if you're interested in going through the nuances and details of that, you can reach out to us and we can uh, talk to you about, you know, what are in the categories and how does it apply to you. So anyway, I hope it helps. Hope it saves you some money. If you have questions, put them in the comments below and I'm gonna look forward to seeing you on the next video.